Good evening, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and I welcome all of you back to another rage video and the beginning of our St. Valentine's Day Massacre special. Only two days after our previous special, we move straight into the next one. And I don't want to give any spoilers away, but there's even going to be even more coming in the month of March. Just you wait and see. But while we're on the subject, this is going to be a pretty interesting one because I had in mind roughly maybe eight videos I kind of wanted to make specifically revolving around some of the greatest heavy metal songs devoted to the subject of love. But also, I kind of also wanted to do a little bit of a special video towards the end of this where I go on my own personal uh, tangents about first uh, things like love and affection. Since there is quite a lot I actually do know on the subject and certain things I kind of have always wanted to say but never really had the courage to. Well, let me just tell you something right now, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest aspects of the world we live in right now is that love is a very courageous thing indeed. However, love can also sometimes be a very cowardly, cowardice sort of measure. And I will describe more about this later on, but maybe this is what I'll do. I'll sneak in little tidbits about stuff like this. But personally, there is no other greater force in the universe than the universality power of love. So, if you guys want to check out the original video for yourselves, and I would be wearing a motorhead jacket, it does kind of make sense. Let's begin. Love me forever. In three, two, one, and... <laughs> oh my god. So one of the things I kind of wanted to open up with, ladies and gentlemen, is I was, I did initially sort of like thought it's like one of those more unconditional things. It's either you're with me all the way or there's absolutely no way we're going to do this. Now, some might say this is like almost uh, attributed to the acts of marriage because marriage in many ways kind of revolves around two people legally joined together not but not not so much in love but more in the in the state of the law more than anything now again maybe that's just a very cynical and a very very bleak uh, 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 sort of view towards uh, the ideas of marriage but when you think about it how 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 quick how quick does it sort of change when we get into the first chorus everything changes it all stays the same everyone guilty no one to blame Every way out brings you back to the start. Everyone dies to break somebody's heart. So, is it the only real way things could actually... It, it, it almost explains that in the, in the grand scope of things, do things actually change whether we're together or whether we're even on this earth or not? The impression I get from this sort of thing, and even the music has a very bleak sort of... Um, it, a tough attempt to try and be maybe romantic or, you know, empowering or give off some of the, uh, the, the indications that it's meant to be about love. But what I think is the, the most curious uh, aspect of all is the fact that, well, I, I didn't really think Lemmy would be the sort of person who would be sort of like, have a very bleak view towards the ideas of love. Lemmy strikes me, bizarrely enough, as a very, very, oh, well, 
a, a deep a, a, somebody who might have a very deep impact. May I, I actually? You know what? Maybe this is because uh, Lemmy didn't exactly have particularly very um, religious views, or he viewed God as just some divine being that some people chose to believe in because that's just what they were told. Could this be the idea that literally life means only you're here Earth only once and that's it. You're literally to the worms once you're finished. Is that what this is supposed to be about? Like a, an anti-God uh, sort of aspects of love. Is that what this is meant to be? And the only real love is the love that we can actually show to each other. Whether or not we actually mean it or if it made any difference whatsoever. So it kind of almost, you, I suggest the idea of love as something of a, um, a mechanism, a tool that humans can wield and use to their advantage. Hmm. Is, is that, is, is that, I think that's, I think that's what they're trying to get at.
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Love Me Forever by Motorhead. Now, I will say, I, I do kind of fit... I, I will absolutely admit that this is actually really, really good because there's really not too many people out there who actually could sort of write... Uh, because sometimes Motorhead really do write some very bleak material, I must admit. But I must admit, um, it is true that from literally just, uh, I call something out of the glimmer of my eye, that this song was written for Lemmy's girlfriend. I don't know if it was at the time, who was only 28 and sadly uh, passed away. But I will, maybe, uh, that would probably contribute quite a lot. Because actually, when Motorhead... They want to talk about the ser some things that are actually quite very really serious stuff. They absolutely will, whether it's love, war, death, all the rest of it. And something that's actually kind of a little bit more it, it, apparent about this than maybe I wasn't uh, letting on at first sight is that I generally do not know if um, Lemmy married or, or had another partner immediately after this or anything like that. Maybe he was just, it's, I think, again, maybe this is the sort of thing I'm very, very, it's a very alien sort of concept to me, the idea of, can you move on from a loved person's death? And I'm talking of not so much like maybe a family member or a pet or a pet animal or something like that, but we're talking about another human being, like, you've developed such feelings for that, you know, you, you'd you want it to be an, a go for and like, whole in, you know, like marriage and or starting a family and all the rest of it. So maybe it's maybe it's because I, I'm again. It's it's a it's a very interesting one for me because I can absolutely understand why Lemmy would want to write so well, and you know Phil Phil Campbell and oh well Phil Campbell Philip Taylor and uh, Wurzel, they wanted to get involved in stuff for something like this. And actually, there is sort of like a, a gloom sort of funeral sort of vibe to uh, all this. And I think it was absolutely written as a tribute. And the only really other thing I think I can like honestly add to that is the fact that it does at least show you the sort of uh, people that uh, Lemmy would absolutely show alliance to. Like, he, I, I get it. He, you know, <laughs> it's, oh God, I... I, I, I don't, you see, this is exactly the problem I was saying when love is such a, an affection and such a very strange alien subject to me because it's not because I don't understand it, not because I couldn't, I couldn't, und I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't get the re the rationale behind why somebody want to write this for somebody, but because I've not been there, I've not been in the situation where I, w I would have cherished and loved somebody so much even a after death that I would have wrote, written something like this. And I think it's, again, this the sort of the, 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 the tumultuousness and the, uh, the horrible ways in which this all ended. Everyone guilty, no one to blame. That's a good way to put it. There is no one to blame if everybody's guilty. That's kind of a... That's, that, that sets in motion, doesn't it? And because it's not as if... What what did Lemmy's girlfriend die of actually? That's a, that that might be something I might have to take a look at. Um, I, I'll tell you what, I'll do, I'll do it now. Let's uh, just so we can get this uh, one on the road. And um, let's see. It doesn't. It doesn't really say on here. Um, maybe I'll I'll find something like. Nah, I think I think I'll just uh, go go straight about this. Uh... Nah, I, th I think I'll just I'll just leave it for that. Um, one of the things is, uh, Lemmy, oh, that's right, yes, Lemmy never did marry, that's, okay, well, I found something, okay, okay, yes, fine, thank you, uh, few musicians, uh, despite his high profile, um, his bass, his bass guitar style was unique, combining, okay, um,
Finger debater, philosopher, leaving school. <sighs> One second. Uh, okay, here it is. Lemmy never married, explaining on many occasions for the love of his life had been Susan Bennett, a girlfriend who had died aged 19 of a heroin overdose. Um, he had a lifelong hatred of heroin and contempt for the ineffectual governmental attempts to curb its use. One of the many surreal meetings of the minds was between Lemmy and uh, the establishment in 2005. And the Okay, hang on. So it was about... Was it a... Did he say... Um... But they, they said it was like... His girlfriend was like... Twi um, it might have been... I, maybe it probably would have been. But... Again, what I will absolutely stress straight up say right now, just to sort of like end this video on the way we can, it does, if nothing else, this shows you the sort of like levels of, well, the, the attempts at love that Lemmy does convey for the ones that he did used to know. His, if nothing else, then he absolutely shows tremendous respect for those who are no longer here. And he kept their memory strong and kept the fight alive to make sure, you know, that nobody would die or succumb to heroin ever again. I know it's still ongoing, That's uh, it's not going to be solved overnight, but there was love, passion, and affection in the first place. And maybe that's all that matters, that he there was, at the bottom of it, that was absolutely what was always meant to be about. Maybe really, maybe Lemmy really did love her forever, in life and in death. So anyway... I hope all of you guys have enjoyed this reaction video to Love Me Forever by Motorhead. Please make sure to leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys felt of Love Me Forever for yourselves. And I cannot wait to tell you guys again in the next video. Take care and bye-bye for now.